for the final race of the Grand Prix series here at Cal Speed. Currently in the B main, not where I wanted to be at all. The only one to B main out of the group, so that was pretty unfortunate. But the goal was to get some good points, possibly get the win, and go to the A. Soon we're going to go out green flag here shortly. And with the green flag out and away we go here for the final race of the Grand Prix series. We're going to make one position up on the straightaway, maybe even two if we go make it three wide. We're going to hold down the middle, able to gain two spots within the start. All right, into turn number four, we're going to hold it around the outside. Nice, nice, nice move. Holding it around the outside, the other driver trying to get a duck in. As we head down the hill, all right, into the hairpin set of corners right now. Two positions made up on the first couple of laps. We swing out really, really, really wide. We head down into the hairpin section and we make some contact. Ooh, I ended up getting a big push from behind, so I'm really apologize to the dude up in front. With Carnage up ahead right now. Some very aggressive driving, especially in the B main race. We're gonna try to go around the outside. The 54 is gonna hold us to it. We're gonna back out of the move. And he's gonna go really wide, really, really wide. We're able to gain that spot pack as we head down into the S's right now. All about getting the head down and really pushing for it. The goal was to try to get the win, um, so to possibly get up into the A, but unfortunately being this far back up in the grid, don't think that was going to be an option today. At this point, it's going to be playing catch up to, to get up to the group ahead, so just head, have that head down, and we'll, we'll try to catch on back up. As we see some debris come out on the track, uh, someone ended up running over one of the little PVC pipes that came up in the air, trying to avoid that. So we head down around the outside. Again, not really a move that really works out. The 39 is going to go for a huge lunge. We get collected up with it. Oh, we ended up losing so much momentum because of that. Um, really, really poor move by the 39. I mean, especially a dive bomb like that wasn't really going to work out. Clogged everyone up from behind. So now we even have a bigger gap to the people up in front. They're already in the S's. We're way far back now. As we're going to go down the inside, another move into the S's. We're going to leave the space. Nice, nice, nice. Here's Scott, one of the competitors this weekend. He ended up coming up with us. And we're going to go around the out into the inside for turn number one. Nice, clean move into lap two. We're going to try to catch this group up ahead. Nolan, who's up in front right now, he was the other to be main. Sorry, Nolan. We're going to try to catch up to Nolan. Nolan has had an issue. He got hit by the PVC pipe, so he, during the race, he said he was having a hard time catching his breath. As we're going to tuck right back in, finally getting the corner nailed, we're going to try to go to the high line. Nolan's going to block it on up. We're going to go around the outside. Nice, nice clean move. Nice defense from Nolan trying to put me behind right now. But now it's time to put the head down. We really got to catch this group of three up ahead. That's the goal. I knew I had the pace for the weekend, so the goal really, really was to just try to get the head down. And I really needed, I really needed some good points as I knew Matthew was going to catch up with a main in this race. So that was definitely not what I wanted to get beat by Matthew. So as we come on to lap number three right now, um, really trying to push to catch this guy up in front. Um, I knew that I definitely had pace. Um, I knew that I definitely had the pace to be in the A, I just had two poor carts, so it was really just trying to, to use my knowledge of the tracks and to really push as hard as I can to force someone into a mistake or make a move onto someone who's unspecting as we try to look for a half lunge down the inside. It's not really going to work on the 39. We're going to catch back up to the back, and you see that group of three? They were far ahead. They were already into the uh, in into the little fishbowl section, and now we've caught up to the back bumper of them. Four of them. As they go three wide into the S's almost, as I poke my nose in there, not going to work out. That was a bad move. I ended up losing all the momentum onto the straightaway. Um, so that's going to bring 39 in for the fight to um, fight for this position up ahead. As we start on to lap four, ticking away at those laps. With only a 10 lap race, you really have to make your moves nice and neat. As we are on the back of the 45, 46. Um, as there's contact up ahead, we're gonna follow the 45, 46, sorry. We might go make it three wide, nope. The 46 is gonna cover that off. Huge lockup by the 40, 54. 
um, which I don't know where he was planning on going on that one, but really late on the brake pedal right there. Able to gather it on up and still be up in the fight. Someone runs really, really wide. Um, we're side by side going into the carousel section, which is definitely not where you want to be at. As the 46 leaves a little bit of space, we're going to go side by side, really close, minimal contact as we head side by side in the yeses. Ooh, nice clean move. That was one of my favorite moves of the season so far, that side by side through the yeses type move. Mm, that's exactly what I love to see. Now it's just the two up ahead. Um, and the and really, really was trying to get the head down, trying to hide myself up in the helmet, trying to make sure I can catch up to these guys. Because if I can do that, I know that I can definitely be ahead of Matthew and maybe some other guys up in the championship. So, as we huge lock up going into the uh, bottom of the hill, uh, this corner right here, this track just didn't really work out for me on that hairpin corner. I just couldn't get the, the left hand to turn in as well as I wanted it to. So. Now it was really just trying to put on a, a good offense, as usual, and really, really dig for these guys up ahead. Um, so let's fast forward and see how that goes. here with the race soon closing to an end really opening up out of turn number four and that's going to give us a good run to the bottom of the hill right now really he hope hoping that he can make a mistake really really early on the brake pedal and i'm able to gain a lot of time as i go for a switch back down the inside we're side by side and it looks like he's just going to be able to hold the momentum out but a very very aggressive move and we're going to try to swoop back maybe go down the inside for the fishbowl section uh, he's going to cover it off and very, very defensive move. Very clean, very clean. And we're gonna run down to the inside. A very aggressive move up onto the curb. Some contact made. And as we're gonna try to make another overtake onto the straightaway here, um, we're really trying to, to be ahead. As I get a black stick for I would assume be crowding. As we only have two laps left. Lap eight of a lap 10 race. Here we go, onto the 30. We are on the back bumper pushing him pretty much through the whole section. Loses the rear end out a little bit, he's able to have the momentum. Really opening up turn four is definitely gonna have help you have the momentum that you need onto the straightaway. As we're gonna try to go around the outside, back for another move, we're gonna go really, really wide. He's still able to carry that momentum that he needs to, to cover me off, so some very good defensive moves. Um, as we're coming up towards the end of this race, I'm really trying to dig as hard as I can. I'm trying to get myself hyped up in that helmet, trying to think of anything I can do. Back down to the inside again, onto the curb again, as I get a little hand wave, my bad man, my bad. Really trying to make a position work, um, and I don't want to get another black stick for crowding. He's using the human DRS to pull away from us. As it's the final lap of the race, what can we do, what can we do? As I overshoot turn one by a milestone, losing that time that I needed to catch up to the 38, he's pulled a nice solid gap to me because we're really going to try to open up the corner and we're able to pull closer and closer to him as we head into the uh, bottom of the hill we're going to look for a move no it's not going to work as we head down in the hairpin oh my god a dive bomb a dive bomb by the 40 the 40 is going to make the move we are on the back bumper of the 40 i'm not too happy with that dive bomb as we're going to head down into the fishbowl section what can we do can we make the overtake here is it going to work? We're going to try to go around the outside. He covers it off. We're going to go down the inside. Still not going to work. We lose the front end a little bit. As we head down in the yes, is the last place to make a move. Are we going to be able to do it? Not at all. We lose the rear end a little bit. We're going to lose the momentum that we needed. And unfortunately, that is how our race is going to end. Losing a position on the final lap. Finishing in the B main. And unfortunately, 
getting only P14 in the championship. Not too bad at all, and I would love to say thank you to all the uh, people who showed up, especially the boys, Matthew, Nolan, Danny. It was a real, real honor to race with you guys, and I had a fantastic time.